Well, hello everyone. As you know, I'm George Martorano, and I'm presenting the Fourth World Prison Segments. And I've been talking about, uh, you know, the hardships of being in solitary, which we call the whole. But uh, for these weeks now, I, uh, I haven't mentioned another element of prison, a very serious element of prison, which I do not agree, I totally do not agree, and that is the incarceration of women. And they get treated just as much as men do in cruel situations. Some years back, uh, in a transit situation, Nazi, the women are kept separate, but they're in lockdown too. They're 24-7 lockdown too. So they happen to be in the wee hours of the morning, you know, they come and get you. I don't care if you slept or you didn't slept, you're going. You're going. And I was... Uh, Unfortunate enough, fortunate enough to uh, travel, uh, all chain, all chain. It was me and uh, several women, and uh, I got to speak to them about, uh, you know, their situations, uh, life, uh, what's going on with uh, their case, and you know, I relayed much as I could. And I was in already a lot of years, and I don't want to tell them that. I don't want to tell the women that I had been in for over two, two decades. And, uh, you know, I, I want to tell them I just got arrested and I wanted to instill hope situation. And, you know, when you wake you, you wake a person up two in the morning, one in the morning, especially a woman, even though she's in the, the prison garb and chained up, you know, she would, she would like to uh, fix her hair, you know, because she's a woman. And th th that wasn't allowed. And, and it's a sad situation. We would dress each other. You know, we're chained. We're chained. We would dress each other. They didn't want to give me eye contact because they didn't like the way they, they appeared. And uh, I, I, I consulted them. Uh, I spoke poetry to them. I did the best I could because they're women, ladies and gentlemen. They're women. Anyway, uh, then you, you, know, you get on a bus. Uh, the women are always put uh, on the last Men are put on first, they go to the back, the women on the front. And uh, same with the plane, you know, you, you come to these uh, desolated prison uh, uh, airport, the tarmacs, always in a part of an airport where there's no one around, secure shotguns and situations. And, uh, you know, the men would get uh, loaded first. And, you know, you know, one thing that sticks with me over the years, and I've seen it more than once, is uh, the degradation that these women uh, would be uh, put upon, you know, uh, situations where, can you imagine your chain? And you're in, most of these women are here because a guy put them there. I mean, let's be reasonable. You know, the heart is a lonely hunter, and they get involved in wrong relationships. So here's this prison plane, you know, Con Air. And uh, it's about 30 yards long. And they, these women have to go the whole 30 yards with men on both sides. And, uh, and the looks on their faces, you know, uh, the hurt and the shame. You know, it's one thing to be a prisoner. No shame will ever be seen on my face, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, to put shame on these women's faces and they're paraded. They're actually paraded. And, uh, again, I happened to be uh, the row right behind the women. And uh, right away when they sat down, I already... I already knew some, uh, no sense answering their names because we're all numbered human beings. And I would uh, try to make some jest of it. I would tell some jokes. I would try to make them laugh because, uh, you know, their lives are gone. The lives that they know them are gone. Uh, their mothers are gone. Their children are left behind. So I want to share that uh, this segment today, that there's women out there who've been through hell also as I and other men. And that shouldn't happen in America. And I pray someday that I could speak in front of Congress, etc., and let them know the true story about women, how they're treated in this country, incarcerated. Thank you. Welcome to the fourth world.